In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up an automatic bank feed in Clearbooks. Our bank feeds use secure open banking links to provide you with an updated view of your bank statement each day. Let's get started. Firstly, head to Money and then Bank Accounts. On this page, you'll notice the bank account you created when you signed up, but you can add additional accounts by clicking the Add Account button. Let's add one now. Choose the appropriate bank account type. There are a range to choose from and we support bank feeds from savings accounts, credit cards and current accounts. Click add next to the type that you need. Fill out the details in the boxes provided to set up your bank account. At minimum we'll need a name for the bank account but you can enter additional information such as the account number and sort code which you can then make visible on invoices you generate in Clearbooks. Once you're happy, click save. From the main screen, click on the Enable Bank Feeds link next to your new bank account. The next page gives you more information on what a bank feed is and the benefits they provide. Hit Next to continue. We'll need your consent to set up the bank feed, so take a moment to read through the information on the next page before clicking I agree if you would like to continue. From the Bank Feeds screen, click Add Feed. The next pop-up explains how Clearbooks uses Plaid to set up your feed. Click continue once you have checked the terms and are happy to continue. The next page prompts you to find your bank. The clickable bank logos will only bring up a narrow range of feed options, so we recommend that you search your bank at the top and then select the correct feed from the list. Click continue to be taken to your online banking login page via a pop-up where you'll authenticate the feed. Once you have completed the authorization process in the pop-up, the final step in the process will be to link this feed with the new bank account you set up in the dialog box that appears. Choose your bank account from the drop-down list and enter a start date you'd like to pull transactions from. Click link to complete this step. It's as simple as that. Your new bank feed is set up and ready to import. 